Now let's discuss the morphology of pancreas and type 1 diabetes. And the keywords to remember this one are immune system attacks pancreas. You all know that type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder in which body's immune system reacts against its own pancreas. So the immune system like always will be manifested as leukocytes infiltration that is called insulinitis. And as the pancreas is being attacked, its endocrine part which is in the form of islets get reduced in size as well as number. So overall on microscopy you see leukocytes and you see reduced number and size of islets. Now for type 2 diabetes the keywords to remember are increased secretory activity of beta cells. And you know that in type 2 diabetes there is insulin resistance. So to counter against this beta cells have to produce a lot of insulin. Then gradually during the course of disease some of the beta cells are exhausted due to producing a lot of insulin and the burden of responsibility on remaining beta cells is further increased. This increased secretory activity result in deposition of amyloid material within the islets. So please remember that this point that amyloid deposits occur only in type 2 diabetes and not in type 1 diabetes. Now we will come to the diabetic macrovascular disease. You know that if diabetes affect large and medium sized arteries it is called atherosclerosis. And if it affects arterioles, it will cause high lean thickening of vessel wall. Similarly, diabetic microangiopathy, which is a lien of capillaries, is also of two types. One is diffuse basement membrane thickening, and second is deposition of high lean material in the walls of vessels that is due to the leakage of proteins.